Governor McMaster's warning there is exactly why we have our team coverage this morning. We have crews all across the upstate on this special edition here on this Sunday morning. We got them in the mountains too. It's been snowing and travelers rest now for hours and thankfully there's no ice there yet. At least there wasn't at last check. Is that still the case, Grace? Well, you know, we're starting to see those little icy pellets come down and they kind of really sting when they hit you in the face, especially with all that wind. I want to kind of take you guys out on Main Street here in Traveler's Rest. You can see how caked down that snow and sleet coming down is on the roads right now. Starting to see some more people come out and maybe once in a while lose traction, especially once they go over that soft, fluffy snow that's piling up on top of the sleet. And I do want to kind of show you that ice that we're starting to see form. If you take a look up, starting to see a lot more icicles at this point than we were earlier this morning. But again, fewer cars out on the roads than what we actually saw earlier. What we're starting to see now is a lot more people starting to venture out on foot, maybe walking their dog to kind of get a feel for um, what the conditions are like. We actually talked with one woman who says she likes to be up early on a snow day because she likes to be the first person to check it out. I'm uh, an avid outdoorsman and I'm used to the snow and used to climbing mountains in the snow and so I'm just kind of channeling my uh, bigger mountains right now I guess you could say. Definitely feels like you're walking up a mountain once you get all that snow and sleet flying in your face. But to give you an idea of what it looked like earlier, here's a look at those bigger flakes coming down. This was around uh, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning here in Traveler's Rest. So very different conditions right now. And, you know, really, it kind of seems like we're at a little pause in that sleet coming down. Mostly it's just kind of wind blowing off things that have already fallen to the ground. So constantly changing here. And, of course, we'll keep you updated all day long. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, absolutely. Just like you mentioned, we're going to be here all day long, have crews all around the clock, making sure that everybody out there is safe. And we are, of course, committed to you and keeping you safe out there. Thank you, Grace. And from Western, or excuse me, from the upstate now to Western North yes, Carolina, where the snow is coming down and piling up. That's where we find Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs. She's joining us live now from Asheville. And Lindsay, how are things looking there now? Well, Ashley, Margaret, and so far the roads are looking a little bit rough. There's a car a little bit earlier really struggling to get up this hill on I-240. Earlier this morning, we even saw a snowplow get stuck. They had to call in a bigger one to help or leave it. They're really working hard to clear off these roads, making sure they're okay. But if you can stay off the roads, that's highly recommended. Stay indoors. Be careful when you're outside. The snow has been coming down for hours this morning. As a matter of fact, Governor Roy Cooper is issuing a state of emergency. They're going to have a press conference at about noon today. We're going to be streaming that live inside of our Fox Carolina News app and on Facebook. Of course, we are going to keep you updated as snow continues to come down outside. A lot of people um, are really going to be kind of stuck where they are. You're going to make sure that you want to have those backup generators on hand, stock up on food as much as you can. If you do go outside, make sure your ground is salted. The snow is really accumulating. You can see here it's getting pretty deep. I mean, it's been dumping all morning long, but we do want to keep you updated here in Asheville as things continue to get worse and worse outside. Ashley, Margaret Ann. Lindsay, we thank you so much, and as always, be safe out there. want to pass along another friendly reminder. You can stay up to date with this winter storm by downloading our free Fox Carolina News app. There, you can see the latest weather alerts and our local radar. Now, the app is there even when your power is not.